Good evening. I'm Audrey Clement. I'm running for Arlington County Board and I seek your vote. I'm an eight-year Westover resident with a doctorate in political science and service as a congressional fellow. As a longtime Green Party leader and civic activist, I've worked hard to promote a better quality of life for Arlington residents. Libby Garvey says she's proud of the three new high schools built under her watch. But at $100 million, Washington and Lee is one of the most expensive high schools for its size in the nation. Not only that, but Washington Lee was designed with insufficient classroom space to serve future needs. So taxpayers are going to shell out up to $50 million more for high, for high school classrooms in the near future. Also, at more than $18,000 per student per year, Arlington Public Schools spends more than any other school district in Northern Virginia. Given her school board spending record, it's likely that if elected, Libby will support the county's current budget priorities which emphasize white elephant projects over basic needs. We don't need County Board to construct any more Taj Mahals, while our streets need repaving, as I'm sure you know. Mark Kelly says he wants fiscal responsibility, but he's employed as legislative director for a Tea Party congressman who is peddling toxic legislation that will bar EPA from regulating greenhouse gases, particulates, and pesticides, and the National Labor Relations Board from supervising union elections. In advocating these reckless policies, Mark is clearly out of touch with county voters. If elected to county board, I will promote fiscal responsibility without sacrificing the health and welfare of its residents. My top priority will be funding essential government services by expanding library hours, replacing trailers with classrooms, repaving streets, restoring programs for seniors, youth, and disabled. Next, I will eliminate wasteful spending projects like the Artisphere, Longbridge Park Aquatic and Fitness Center, and the Columbia Pike Trolley. The Artisphere needs to be offloaded from the county's operating budget and financed by a foundation or public-private partnership, not by taxpayers. Arlington doesn't need to swim in a sea of red ink to pay for a $50 million aquatic center when Northern Virginia is literally drowning in public, private, spa, and therapy pools and a state-of-art aquatic center is under construction at the new Wakefield High School. WMATA just completed an alternatives analysis of Columbia Pike transit options and found that an articulated bus system would provide the same service as streetcars for about one-fifth of the $250 million cost needed to finance the planned trolley on Columbia Pike. Finally, I will promote sustainability by consolidating housing programs in one agency to leverage more funds for affordable housing, providing a year-round homeless shelter that will not break the county's budget, using the commercial real estate surcharge tax to provide more art bus service instead of the pike trolley, and hiring an inspector general to audit the county budget. Thank you for inviting me to this forum, and I look forward to your questions. Well, I would like to say that it appears at first blush that Mark Kelly and I are exactly on the same page because we're both fiscal conservatives. Uh, we really mean it. We really believe that county board is actually profligate in its spending. And the fact that county board is solidly democratic means that there's, there's no dissent. There's no opposing voice. There's no break on the amount of spending the county board is prepared to do. But as I pointed out earlier, in addition to the fiscal conservative component, there's also an ideological component, and that's where Mark and I very seriously deviate. Um, I believe that we can promote fiscal responsibility without sacrificing the health and welfare of our residents, and that's what I'm prepared to do. I don't think we need to implement draconian laws that will jeopardize environmental protection for the health and welfare of our of our population. Did you? Yeah, one more minute. Oh, yes. So, and now, with respect to Libby Garvey, I generally, I, it's clear that I side with Libby Garvey on social questions, but the spending issue is with me um, a real uh, difficulty. I really do believe that county, that the school system uh, is faced with a major crisis and that if it continues spending at the same rate uh, that it has spent on high school construction in recent years that it will un be unable to house 
the 5,000 additional students that are expected to come into the school system over the next five years. So we really do have to look at ways to conserve on construction spending, capital spending. And this doesn't, yeah, this doesn't mean firing anybody. It means instructing our architects that we want to renovate and build up rather than build new. Arlington County is a great place to live, thanks to citizens like you who actively participate in civic life. But our suburban lifestyle is threatened because County Board doesn't understand that sustainable growth and so-called smart growth aren't the same. To be sustainable, basic public infrastructure must keep pace with new residential and commercial construction. Sustainability also requires County Board to support, not discourage, construction of moderate income housing. Otherwise, those who move into the county are stuck in a never-ending cycle of tax and rent increases as others are gentrifying out, which is not economically sustainable for anyone in the long run. To be sustainable, we need to do more than accumulate lead points. We need truly energy efficient buildings and on-site renewable energy. To be sustainable, we must appreciate the difference between needs and wants. We don't need a $50 million aquatic center when Northern Virginia is already drowning in public pools. We don't need a $250 million trolley when bus service can be upgraded at a fraction of the cost. We may want a cultural center and a black box theater, but we must get the private sector to influence them, not the taxpayer, or to finance them, not the taxpayers. We may like the already overcapacity Taj Mahal high schools recently constructed in the county, but what we really need is to expand classroom space at a reasonable cost, even if that means building up or renovating rather than building new. If elected, I pledge to make developers pay their fair share of infrastructure costs. I also plan to fully fund library schools and programs for youth, seniors, and disabled, emphasize recycling and renewable energy, and hire an inspector general to audit the county's budget. You can find out more about my campaign for a greener Arlington by visiting audreyclement.org. With your help, I will preserve the Arlington Way. Vote Clement for County Board on March 27th.